What's up guys? It's February 23rd, 2024. Looks like the market's went range bound, or it's like two legs lower into a range. We were we had an uptrend, so it makes sense to go sideways. You know, uptrend, consolidate, maybe uptrend, rejection, we'll see what happens. But okay. So we have a big gap up with continuation. It's good for the bulls. Wait, let me make this chart a little bit bigger. So we have a gap up. It's a big bear bar. Bar one is continuation. Two is a pause bar. That's kind of what we have on the daily chart. Trend bar, pause bar. So we'll see what happens after. Then the market goes range bound for the next six bars. This was a big sell if we had like one, like two. So the first six parts of the day have a, it's a, it's range bound with a little bit more well, excuse me with a little bit more bullish pressure, and then we have a few legs lower. You can see the legs are actually getting bigger. We have a leg one, leg two, then we have a leg one, pull back, leg two, pull back, and then it kind of vacuums down. This could also be a leg here, leg one, pull back, leg two. It's a micro channel that broke out to the downside. And here's also a bearish channel that broke out to the downside. Bears go to fill the gap and they want to make a move lower, but they fail. Bull starts to reverse here. This from the high of this bar to the high of this bar, that's a two that's a doji on a different time frame. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. So maybe on the 70 minute time frame. This is a doji. Let me see here. 70 minutes. Okay, no. <clears throat> so, I, it was, I got the in between bar. The hour was like offset. But you guys get the picture. I'm not going to restart the video. You guys get it because what happens in a doji or a range, it starts at one side. A doji like this is what I was thinking this price action would look like. It goes down, comes up. Bulls get two legs, leg one, pull back leg two, pull back leg three. Leg three is really weak and it kind of creates a higher high double top. There's also leg one, pull back leg two into the EMA. And they get a trend line break here. And they go for leg two. And then bears get a wedge, leg one, pull back leg two, leg three. It's a micro wedge. Bullish breakout, really weak. That creates the third leg for the bulls in a range. Here's this, this looks like it's acting as resistance. Bulls need to close above here and here and here and here. This starts to get really bullish, but they ended up making a double top at the last strong sell, which is also yesterday's high. Yesterday's high was resistance today. And then they get their another bear channel down lower. It's hard to count legs in this. There's multiple legs, so we can see all these wicks. But it's a bear channel, and they're trying to break the low, but the bull gap stays open. Now we have a bull gap and a bear gap that stays open, and the mark goes sideways for the rest of the day. I got absolutely shredded to pieces today. Uh, I gave up all my gains these last two weeks again. I came within a hundred dollars of getting paid out next week, and now and then I lost about fourteen hundred. So I'm just gonna restart, not restart a brand new account. I'm still alive, but I'm just gonna. I mean, I'm just gonna restart. Go. I'm just gonna trade one contract for a couple of days, then I'll go back to two and scale it, and we'll see what happens. It's annoying, but it's part of the game. I clearly didn't have the skills to get to the payout, so I have to learn them anyways. Here's a leg one, leg two move. Leg one, pull back leg two. I don't really tra trade the first six parts of the day because one, that move failed, and two, it's more range bound around <coughs> right here. Then we can start to count. Leg one, pull back leg two. Like my finger's itching for some reason. Leg, leg one, pull back leg two. We can even go here because this. That top of that's the trend line break. That was met. That wick right here on bar 17 is kind of a trend line break. 
I think uh, some people were, I, I know myself, I got trapped pretty bad looking for this leg two, which came right here. Really delayed. It might not even be a leg two. The market cycle could have reset by then. It's more range bound for the rest of the day. I got allergies. Here's a wedge top. Uh, it's hard, no, a wedge top, excuse me. That is a wedge top. It's three pushes with an overshoot in the middle. And it sells off. It has a break out to the downside. In, the, in yesterday, in last week's video, I posted about like, I was just talking about bull channels have bearish breakouts eventually. Here's another example of that. Here's a bull channel with a bearish breakout. And then here's an example of a bear channel with a bullish breakout. So it's pretty interesting how the market moves back and forth. Let me get to, through these leg one, leg two moves. I don't want to get off topic. It is hard to count leg one, leg two moves in a range bound price action. It's more of a buy low, sell high, and scalp. That's what Al likes to say. But there are like, oh, excuse me. There are like one, like twos here. Here's another one. And you guys see how I'm just pulling from the opposite bars. I think that's just the easiest, quickest way. Here's another one. But, or you can go here if you caught that high. If not, it still worked out here to the channel lows. Where are we in the market cycle? Looks like we're range bound, so the market cycle is at its end. We had a trend. We had a tr we had a strong breakout. Sh really strong breakout channel, and now we're ranging. It's pretty annoying to get shredded. I didn't even take bad trades. I was hitting out, but I sized up. I don't know why. I went. I came within a hundred bucks of passing to get the actual payout and I started taking 10 15 I think I bought I don't even know why I bought that candle and then I went short 15 contracts on this candle and this candle raced up and came down so it's pretty annoying to you know be putting in this work and then just do silly things like that but I still have the account I'm gonna go again another probably gonna take me about two weeks to grind it back up I don't yeah well I think uh, higher time frame. I don't. I didn't. I forgot the screen was recording when I opened my calendar up. But I don't even know if there's anything there. So here is the daily time frame. We're in that bull channel. We're trading at the top of the range. It looks like we're starting to stall. That's not an accurate line. I'm just drawing it so you guys can see what I'm drawing or seeing. I mean, if we were gonna draw it legit, we would get like two points of contact or something like that. I'm just drawing it so you guys can see what I'm looking at. The height of this channel looks like it's the resistance. It was the support of this prior channel, like that. Actually, that looks kind of better. Kind of like we've already been in this channel for a long time. Right there, really. So we'll see how that gets respected. That's pretty interesting. Overshoot, sold to the low. Trade higher, came down, trade higher, came down. Now we're trading higher, so maybe we come down and we'll see what happens. Hope you guys had a good weekend using stop loss. Have a good weekend or, or i hope you had a good week i just said that i am tired it's friday for me i got shredded to pieces i'm still gonna study though i hope you guys had a good weekend i'll talk to you later thanks for the support i'll talk to you guys later bye